video is to help you understand how to find the slope of a line given two points. Uh, so one thing you need to know about slope, slope is generally given by the variable m, uh, which really doesn't make any sense, you know, uh, m slope, don't know where they got that from. Uh, so I'm just going to actually write out slope here to make sure that's clear. So your slope would equal, it's, it's, it's called your rise over your run, so y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. And you might hear your teacher say rise over run. So rise represents, you know, you're going up and down. Run represents left and right. So I think the best way to go through this would be just a, a couple of examples. So maybe we had the point 1 comma 3 and the point 4 comma 9. And we wanted to figure out what the slope of this was. Well, we want to label our x's and y's x1, y1, and this would be x2, y2 and then we simply are just going to take these points and plug it into this formula up here so my slope for this line would equal y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and for this particular line y sub 2 is 9 y sub 1 is 3 x sub 2 is 4 and x sub 1 is 1 so this would end up giving us 6 over 3 or a slope that is going to equal 2 so that's how we could determine the slope of the line uh, it's really, you know, not too bad. Um, pretty straightforward, just kind of a plug and chug. Get that formula down, you should be good to go. Uh, some other things to know that are important about slope uh, is that two lines that are parallel have the same slope. Parallel lines have, have the same slope. And perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. Spelled that wrong there. Okay, so parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. Well, the best way to see this is to put your equation in y equals mx plus b form. And the m is going to tell you what your slope is. So uh, let's start by giving you one that is already in y equals mx plus b form. So let's say we had y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 7. If I wanted to find the slope of a line that's parallel to this, well, since I'm looking for something that's parallel, it would have the same slope. So all parallel lines will be of the general form y is equal to 3 fourths x plus b, where the b is going to change. So if they're parallel, they have the same slope, they never touch. But the b value has to be different so that they aren't the same line. So y equals 3 fourths x plus 10 would be parallel. y equals 3 fourths x minus 7 would be parallel, but y equals 3 fourths x plus 7 would be the same line. Now, what I mean by negative reciprocal is you basically just take the fraction and you flip it. So all perpendicular lines, and, and this is the symbol for perpendicular, that little uh, 90 degree angle style looking mark, uh, all perpendicular lines would have the negative reciprocal slope. Notice how I flipped the fraction plus some b value, and that b value is just going to determine its y-intercept. Um, so this is you know just kind of an intro video on the slope of line. I'm going to try to post some more uh, examples, ho hopefully tomorrow night if I can.